When I bought a new UHD TV to replace a 10-year-old HD flat panel TV, I did not take into account a reduced number of audio outputs nor the change in the type of output. The old TV had RCA plugs which input directly into a setup for a room-sized T-coil to use with my cochlear implant. None to be found in the new TV. I just had a single digital audio output. This splitter allowed me to connect to the T-coil system, using a converter to allow the change from digital to RCA plugs, and also to the soundbar. It was pretty simple setup. I did have to change the TV sound output from Dolby to accommodate the digital to RCA conversion process, but that had nothing to do with this signal splitter. After getting a soundbar, I lost the use of my old subwoofer, RCA inputs. With the aid of another product, DAC Converter, Digital to Analog, DAC Converter Neotech 192 kHz with Volume Control Aluminum Digital Optical Coaxial Toslink to Analog Stereo Left Slash Right RCA 3. 5 mm jack audio adapter for PS3 Xbox HD DVD PS4 Sky HD Plasma Blu-ray, I was able to use this splitter T. The splitter is solid comes no extra power as needed. I use it to split the signal coming from my TV and with help of the splitter I send one side to the sound bar, and the other to the DAC converter and to my subwoofer. So it works as a 1 input equals 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 greater than 2 outputs. Will most definitely buy again if need be and I would recommend to anyone in need of a good fiber optic splitter. Had my stereo receiver hooked into the digital optical audio port of my television. When I bought a sound bar to help provide much better quality TV. Sound and to avoid having the stereo on every time we watch TV, I found that it sounded best when also hooked into the optical audio port, note that our TV does not have an HDMI ARC connection, since I didn't want to have to switch out cables each time we used the stereo to listen to Pandora and such, I started looking for splitters, and this one had some of the better reviews. Have only just hooked it up. But now I have both the receiver and sound bar hooked into it, and both work, even simultaneously. Do not notice any loss in sound quality. Should this stop working in the near future, it'll update the review, but for now, this splitter does the job. I us the splitter with my TV sound bar and with a specialty device that connects to my hearing aids. The splitter works just fine with the sound bar but I do experience static with a hearing aid device. I don't believe this has anything to do with the splitter. The hearing aid device, a phone at TV link, gets audio from the TV via the splitter then rebroadcasts it to my hearing aids via Bluetooth. I think the static issue has something to do with the Bluetooth connection. The sound bar is not impacted at all good quality sound from it all the time. Having said all that, the static is not too bad and I can actually distinguish what the individual actors are saying. Something I could not do without the splitter slash TV link. So, all in all, I am very pleased with the results. The splitter is a simple setup and works perfectly. I like that this product was affordable. It was exactly what I needed. I spent plenty of time reading forums and whatnot just to make sure I was doing the right thing. I own a PS4 Slim, I recently purchased some wireless headphone. To take full advantage of the headphones I would need an optical out, unfortunately the PS4 Slim does not have an out. I read online that you could use the TVs out. Unfortunately, my TV's out is already going to my surround sound. So I needed a splitter. This product did just that. It splits the signal into my headphones and surround sound. All I have to do is make sure the volume is down on my surround sound in case I only want sound coming from my headphones. 
PCPs. I have read forums online that says that quality might come down due to the splitting. I didn't notice anything major. And I still take advantage of Stereo 7. 1. I'm using it in the 2 to 1 config. Works as expected. My older receiver only has one optical input and one coax. I need to add another device with only an optical output to my system. So I plugged in the optical cable on the splitter into my receiver and then plugged in the other two devices. As expected, with both of them plugged in I didn't get any sound. But it's super easy to unplug one of the cables. I thought about getting a splitter with a remote but this does the job. We rarely use the Blu-ray player that I now use the splitter with. On the rare occasion that we watch a Blu-ray, I just need to reach behind the TV and unplug the appropriate optical and I get Dolby Digital or DTS with the same quality as if the optical was plugged directly into the receiver. If your cables are difficult to get to or you use both devices that are plugged in quite often, you will be better off with a splitter that has separate optical out ports that are managed by a remote or switch. Click link in description for more reviews.